subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon, so you never miss any video from my channel. Yo! Welcome to Kevin TV. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with y'all cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and wherever else. And guys, don't forget to hit the bell notification, man. Hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. I upload randomly, so I don't want you guys to miss out. So then hit the bell icon, man. When you see the squeaking lines, you know you have been notified. And guys, it's that time, man. It's definitely that time. It's the time for the tail or the take. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, um, our tape, um, as they say, uh, the Carolina Panthers are going against the Baltimore Ravens. So you know where I break down the head coaches, who gets the nod in that situation. Uh, you know, basically who I think, you know, how I think the offense and defense is going to fare against the Ravens' offense and defense. And um, who I ultimately think is going to win. So we got a lot to talk about, guys. So let's get started. Well, first off, I want to get started by saying these teams have a lot of history. And it's, it's funny because, or things that connect them in general. Uh, it's funny because, you know, you wouldn't really think that with the Baltimore Ravens and the Carolina Panthers. But, you know what I'm saying, Ron Rivera and John Harbaugh are both from Andy Reid's coaching tree. Which, you know, obviously, um, Andy Reid has a pretty good coaching tree. He has Ron Rivera, John Harbaugh, um, you know, Matt Nagy, Pat Shermer. A bunch of guys. He got a bunch of, you know, you know what I'm saying, good good coaches under his stable. And both Ron, Sean McDermott, both Ron Rivera and, um, you know, John Harbaugh are both from that ilk or from that tree. So, you know, that connects them a little bit. Uh, Steve Smith played for both the Panthers and the Ravens. And he had some bad blood when the Panthers, you know, let him go or whatever. And he went to the Ravens. And he, he torched us. He definitely torched us. So, you know, we have that in, uh, as far as history. So, you know, definitely uh, there's some history between the Baltimore Ravens and the Carolina Panthers. But, um, you know, we're getting into the head coaches. So, who gets the nod as far as head coaching in this game? Because both these guys are good coaches. But, again, this is one of the rare games that got to lean away from Ron Rivera to John Harbaugh. Um, it just, that's just how it is, man. Um, he won a Super Bowl. Uh, you know, he's a very good coach. I mean, I, mind you, Ron Rivera, like I said, always, you know, I always say he won Coach of the Years. You know, he's he's been a very good coach. You know, he's not it's not like he's you know a scrub. He's been to a Super Bowl, but he lost. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta give that nod to him. Uh, both of them are you know just very good coaches all, all around. Um, it's gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, you know, obviously River, we got the Riverboat Ron who takes chances. You know what I'm saying? Uh, John Harbaugh is not really like that too much. Um, so it's gonna be an interesting game. Uh, I think John Harbaugh is over Ron by a little bit. It's not like, you know, he's way better than him. You know what I'm saying? So I think it will still be a close matchup, and there's things that's going to impact. Even you know, even though the coaching may be better, there's other things that impact the game that might change, uh, you know, the whole dynamic of the situation. So there's a lot to talk about, man, um, as far as that. But uh, I got to give uh, John the, the, the nod, man. I got to give him the nod. As far as defense goes, we already know, man, the the Baltimore Ravens defense is, is top-notch. They're definitely top-notch. You know, obviously, they're ranked number one in the league. Uh, they're a very tough defense. Uh, Terrell Suggs looking like a, he's having a resurgence. I mean, you know, C.J. Mosley is a good player, and they got Eric Weddle back there. So, they're definitely a good defense. Um, I had to give them the non-desk respect. But, mind you, our defense is not atrocious. We got, you know, obviously, Luke Kinkley, Thomas Davis, you know what I'm saying, we got Eric Reed back there. You know, Dante Jackson has been looking good. But um, just in general, you know, we got to give them the, the nod as far as defense-wise. Uh, you know, they they have a you know very stingy defense. And um, it is what it is. As far as defense-wise, they, they, they have the better defense. And, you know, it's it's our defense, like I said, is not far off. But, you know, you know, number one is number one. I think, you know, I don't know. I don't remember exactly where we're rated. But I think we're probably, you know, somewhere between 10 and 15, um, you know, because that's just, you know, the Carolina Panthers tend to be in the top 10 by the end of the year. But, you know, recently we obviously Thomas Davis was out and all that stuff. And we're still trying, you know, Eric Washington has not been uh, kind of living up to the moniker of top defense for the Carolina Panthers. So I think we're in the 10, 15 range. But like I said, I think our defense is going to get better over time, you know. So we're not number one, but we're still pretty good defense. Offensively, man, um... I'm not going to lie, man. I, I take the Carolina Panthers offense, man. Because, you know, Joe Flacco can definitely turn to Joe Fluco really quick. Uh, he's done that. He's shown that. He's shown the capability of that. Um, you know, 
their run game has been non-existent recently. So, you know, any one-dimensional team is, is going to take a hit. Obviously, you can't be one-dimensional. And, um, yeah, they got John Brown and Michael Crabtrees and all these guys. But, I mean, I'm not, you know, obviously we have, you know, Cam Newton, who's obviously Cam. We, we, we know how, how great he is passing, throwing, you know, and running the ball. And he's been playing, like, his best statistical, you know what I'm saying, completion percentage year, you know, to date. But we also have Christian McCaffrey, who, you know, has been playing really well this year. Um, you know, our receivers are pretty good. Especially what, you know, obviously I've been saying the whole time that I wanted Curtis Samuel to start over Toy Smith. Now, obviously I didn't want over injury, but that's how it happens. Toy Smith is ruled out for this game. So, Curtis Samuel is definitely going to be able to get on the field. And DJ Moore is going to be able to get on the field. And I think both of them are going to impact the game really well. I think, you know, Curtis Samuel's vertical threat is going to make them, you know, kind of, they can't squat on our defense, no, our offense, whatever. They can't just, you know, load the box at all. So, you know, it's, it's you know, I think our offense is just better. Um, that's my opinion, whatever, that's where I've seen, whatever, the, the Falcons, you know, not sorry, um, the Ravens, uh, offense has been kind of carried by the defense, whereas this year, which is rare, our offense has been more carrying the defense than vice versa, so I definitely got to lean with their, um, you know, the Carolina Panthers offense, man, and, um, special teams, I gotta kind of give it to us, we got a special team touchdown, whatever, but, um, for the most part, man, like I said, it's, I lean towards us as far as that. I mean, they got us in defense, but I think we got them in offense and special teams. So hopefully, you know, that benefits us to get a W on Sunday. That time, guys, how I think the score is going to turn out. Now, mind you, obviously I said our offense is better than their, their um, offense, you know what I'm saying, and their defense is, you know, better than our defense. And, you know, I gave us another special team, but obviously they got Justin Tucker, who's, you know, a very good special teams player, you know, very good kicker. He missed his first extra point in, like, how long, whatever. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just against the Saints, which pissed me off because obviously the Saints were supposed to lose that game. But whatever. But I digress. But, um, you know, for me personally, like, I got to give the tail of the take, man. I, I think this game is going to be a very defensive game. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. I think it'll be, um, you know, 15 to 12, you know, or a 16 to 12 range around there. Um... I just, that's how I feel it's going to turn out, man. Um, it's, you know, I'm obviously Carolina Panthers are going to win this game. They're, we're at home, and I, I, I got to give us the nod as far as that. But I think it's going to be, you know, don't be surprised. If y'all don't like defensive games, man, I don't think you want to tune into this one because I don't think it's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, points scored. I don't think it's going to be a lot of, you know, deep passes, you know what I'm saying, that are completed, if anything. But um, we'll see how that goes. But I think it's going to be a defensive game. I think, you know, their offense is going to be stagnant. Um, especially if this is their one dimensional, their run game has not been dominant like that, whatever. But what really it comes down to is the O line. You know, if our O line can ha could you know give Cam some time in the pocket against their pass rush, Terrell Suggs and guys, um, I think we'll be good. But if they can't, then we'll be in some serious trouble, man. But I think our O line has been playing good. We played we played against the Eagles. You know, we played some good pass rushes. The, the Cowboys pass rush is pretty good. Uh, who else? Um, you know, so we played against some good pass rushes. Uh, the Bengals, I think pass rush is pretty good, too. So, you know, we play against some good pass rush. Now, mind you, they're not, none of them were number one. But, you know, they were pretty good pass rush, pretty good defenses. So, I think the O-line will hold up. I think, you know what I'm saying, we'll be able to give Cam some time. And I think Cam, you know, obviously is gonna is just having a good year. Um, and especially because we got Christian McCaffrey running out of the backfield and doing, you know what I'm saying, you know, curl routes and stuff like that. I think that will, you know, kind of slow down the, uh, the speed rush, the pass rush. Um, especially when he just drops it off to him like two or three times and he gets a bunch of yards. So we'll see how that plays out, man. But I think it's going to be a defensive game. I think it's going to be a lot of field goals. Um, and uh, we'll see how that plays out, man. But I'm, I'm leaning the Carolina Panthers 16-12. Uh, it's at our house, man. we got to defend our dirt. We've been pretty good this year on our dirt. Um, so I think we're 3-0 at our, um, at our house. And, you know what I'm saying, we won one road game. So, uh, and we lost two. So, um I ain't gonna lie, man. I think that's how it's gonna go. I think we're gonna end this, uh, you know, beat. But in this game, I think we're gonna be five and two. So, you know, it is what it is. And we we deserve we we deserve payback, man, for what they did to us last time we played them in 2014 when when Steve Smith went crazy. So I think it's our payback game, and uh, hopefully we get a W. Well, that's it for me, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and wherever else. And guys, don't forget to get in the comment section, man. 
Put in the comment section who you think gonna win. Do you think John Harbaugh is a better coach than Ron Vera? Who you know who you think gonna win the game? And how you feel about our offense, defense, and special teams? Who you think gets the nod? I ain't gonna lie, I think the Carolina Panthers get the nod in my opinion. So that's just me being honest. Uh, don't forget to check out your uh, L Camera TV apparel, shirts, hats, mugs, all types of cool stuff. That link is in the description below. Check out the Patreon page. That link is also in the description below, man. Support the channel, support me. You already know what it is. Uh, you know, check out my daughter on Steve's video. His videos are gonna be at the very end of mine's in the end screen. Check it out. You know, it's a very funny dude, very talented. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're thinking about doing a podcast together. You know what I'm saying? So definitely when we start, when we crank that up, whatever, we'll send them your way. You know what I'm saying? And let, let you know what it is. We're going to be talking about all kinds of cool stuff, man. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, you know, share with your Panther family, friends, anybody Panther related, anybody football related, anybody, you know, Ravens related, anybody anything related, related. Let them know El Camera TV is rocking on Panther Nation and Panther Nation rocking on El Camera TV. Thank you all for always supporting, always showing love. Thank you all for always tuning in, man. And, um, you know, like I said, any of my anime lovers, any of my, you know, poetry, you know, aficionados, anybody who likes the Lakers or anything like that, whatever, I am going to start dropping more videos, you know what I'm saying, over, you know, that span and that ilk because, um, I've been dropping a lot of Panther videos, and I understand you yeah, I love the Panther videos, and I love them too, man, but I also want to uh, broaden my horizon and talk about some other stuff, man. So, uh, thank y'all for staying tuned in, thank y'all for stay, uh, showing love, man, and I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.